Uh, you know, people come around. But as I said in the chat last night, every, you know, not every litter, but most litters, some litters have a lame pup and, and Lofty is ours. He's our little lame pup running around out there being lame. But we still love the little guy. We do. We rub his little head and go, it's okay, Tiger. You keep trying with those opinions. Use them like exercise, you know. Just keep having them. Maybe they'll grow and get better as time goes on. I kind of feel sorry for his parents, so I do. The Grizzly for $20. Gary, you should check out a channel called Call Me Customer. He's an ex-network executive from MSNBC, and he just did a video featuring you. What? The video was about the Amazon execs at Lotterop. He had some really good takes. Oh, I know who that is. It's called me. Okay, I know that. Yeah, yeah, I'll check it out, Grizzly. Thanks. Thanks for the shout out. Thanks. I appreciate that. The Amazon execs are fighting. They're fighting. They are shedding themselves. Because Amazon's a trillion dollar company. The reason it's a trillion dollar company is because it's a for profit company. So it's not a charity. So the shit it produces, it needs to get a return on. And if it doesn't get a return on it, they cancel. Amazon cancels shows all the time. They canceled the expanse. They canceled the tick. They didn't rush out with a good omen show, which was kind of a surprise. I think they are going to do season two now. I uh, Good performances, uh, things that annoyed me. There was things that annoyed me in that, though. Pathetically predictable like a moth to the flame. Green Goblin says Darth Dragonborn for four ninety nine. Yep, pathetically predictable, like a moth to the flame. I actually should use that clip. Thanks. Keep that in mind. Use that clip. Hey Gary, did you see the teaser for the new One Piece movie? And thoughts on the Ministry of Truth from the current president, Jack White? Uh, the Ministry of Truth needs to be soundly defeated. Uh, this November with our election, hopefully uh, the do nothing fucking Republicans will do something. If they don't do something, then you need to vote everybody out of office. If the ministry of truth gets enacted, you need to vote everybody out. Every establishment person needs to go. Everybody clean sweep fucking gone and then vote in people who will get rid of the ministry of truth. Because I will not live under a ministry of truth. I, will, I won't be able to. I'll be in trouble. Thank you, Jack. Uh, as far as I have not seen the One Piece trailer. Is it, is it live action from Netflix? Oh, boy. Uh, the interview was why thinking Jack and the doctor uh, that was hinted at before going to happen, calling it now, says Josh Crush. You might, you might not be wrong. If he's uncanceled. Looks like Noel Clark is fighting back. He got a lot of accusations. His name dragged through the mud, and he's fucking came back swinging. And if he's innocent, good. Uh, I don't think they found any evidence, and that's kind of important. Um, you know, was he, you know, I, I don't know. I've got two Mickey action figures hanging them all, and he's been, he hasn't fondled anybody else that I've noticed. Uh, why didn't they just cast... Danny John Jules instead. I'd rather see the cat doctor than this guy. Cooler King for $5. So I'm getting you guys aren't really impressed by shooty. Julian Stanley for $5. RTD's body language conflicts with everything he's saying. Yeah, it looked a little uncomfortable. Uh, also, the best joke I've seen about the doctor is his name reads like an eye chart. <laughs> Well, um, this does establish a bit of a precedent that I don't like. Now, okay, well, I have to go back through. Was every doctor born in the UK? I'm pretty sure. This do he's not born in the UK. He's born in Rwanda. And I think everything about this show needs to be British. Like, as nationalistic as possible. Like, every crew member... Everybody, every writer, born in the UK. 
I don't want a fucking American working on that. Not at all. We got $100 right here. Woo! Uh, Legalize adulthood for $100. Here's a little something for Mrs. Nebrotica Mother's Day. Was optimistic about the new... uh, Thank you very much, by the way, and happy Mother's Day to all you moms out there. Uh, Was optimistic about the new doctor, but as soon as the guy said, representation, I'm right back to thinking it's going to be shiite. Uh, Yeah, I'd come... Yep. Uh, Gary, they need to try.